Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Wayne. Merry Christmas. Frohe Nachten. Feliz Navidad, or however you say Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays in your native language. Today is not only the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ in Christianity, and it is the rebirth of anyone who is recovering from alcoholism or addiction and or trying to get sober or living sober. Today's daily reflection for December 24th, 2020, a sane and happy usefulness. Let's go. Okay, folks, even though it's a holiday, I couldn't let it go and couldn't pass up using my daily reprieve to spread the message of sobriety to you folks out there using the daily reflections. Let's go. We have come to believe he would like us to keep our head in the clouds with him, but that our feet ought to be firmly planted on earth. That is where our fellow travelers are, and that is where our work must be done. These are the realities for us. We have found nothing incompatible between a powerful spiritual experience and a life of sane and happy usefulness. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 130. All the prayer and meditation in the world will not help me unless they are accompanied by action. Practicing the principles in all my affairs shows me the care that God takes in all parts of my life. God appears in my world when I move aside and allow him to step into it. Well, folks, for me, that means a whole lot. We would love to stay on cloud line, cloud line, cloud nine forever and be there and be happy and be joyous and be free and be content. But we cannot. Our fellows who still suffer with alcoholism and addiction or whatever it is are still walking amongst the rest of us. That is where our work has to be done. And through being able to gain the spiritual experience of knowing that a higher power, something greater than ourselves, is going to help carry us through to live sober and to help other alcoholics or addicts is something that is mind staggering and that allows me to know that I am not alone in this. That makes me happiness. <laughs> that makes me happiness. That makes me happy and that keeps me sane. It fills me full of joy in order to help someone like you achieve what I've achieved in my sobriety and be able to thrive in recovery. That is where it is. And all the prayer and meditation in the world will not help me unless they are accompanied by action. If, if I say, I, I wish things were so, I wish it was this way, I wish it was that way, I, I am going to meditate hard about a situation that occurred just recently and perhaps it'll just miraculously go away. No, I have to take active steps in order to make these changes. I have to take active steps in order to make amends. I have to take into action in order to help another alcoholic and to be of service to other folks. I have to take action for my, my daily inventory and for conducting my moral inventory when I'm wrong properly admitted and wrap all those steps of the 12 steps and 12 traditions of Alcoholics Anonymous into sobriety. And that is the, the push and pull for me that a sane and happy usefulness is actually achieved. Practicing the principles in all my affairs shows me the care that God takes in all parts of my life. Once again, I'm reading folks and the, read is, the reason I'm reading is because I don't wanna miss something that is particular that can possibly help you. So practicing the principles uh, in all my affairs shows me that God is, and if you don't believe in God, that higher power piece, people, that higher power piece is where we're talking. 
that shows me that as long as I can utilize the principles of Alcoholics Anonymous, and it doesn't have to be Alcoholics Anonymous for you. It can be whatever principles and values and, and true beliefs that you have that help shape your recovery. As long as you practice those in the situations that come up every single day and work little at a time in order to make better of a situation rather than make something worse by taking no action at all, then you will see that your higher power is working in your life. But it's not through the higher power just doing it for you. You have to do certain things in order to keep it and, and in my opinion, earn it. And really because for me, drinking for the better part of 25 years and putting that on my family and putting that on the people around me and my 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 immediate family, my sisters, my brothers, all that, and my friends, putting that all on them, I have to earn my way back and I have to earn my way to stay sober and I have to give it away at the same time. Sounds like a, not, a lot, but it isn't. It helps to keep me sane and it helps to keep me happy and it makes me useful, folks. Daily Reflections. That's why I say you can pick and pull everything that you need just from these words. And that's all they are in this book is words. If nobody makes them a reality, if I don't make these words my reality every single day, then I might as well not even speak about them. True? I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments below, folks. And then lastly, God appears in my world when I move aside and allow him to step into it. Take God out if that's not your thing, folks. Put your higher power back in there. When I allow my higher power to work in my life, when I allow her, in my case, to help me with situations that I can't resolve myself or help me solve problems that are running around in my head if I'm alone on Christmas and I find myself depressed and I don't do anything about it, I'm likely going to stay in that, that same depression. And that could lead to a whole lot of things, especially a relapse. And that's what we're trying to avoid here, folks, through the daily reflections and to build you in your recovery and to build me in my recovery. And if I allow my higher power to help me resolve those situations or at least formulate some sort of answer or or help then i'm not alone and i'm not alone because my my higher power might put someone like you on the other end of my phone and say buddy you're not alone if you want me to come over i'll come over if you want to talk on the phone we'll talk on the phone and that's where my higher power works believe it or not folks it's as simple as that there's no deep unknown secret about what a higher power can do because hope is everything folks and hope is what's going to keep you sober and hope is going to what is what's going to help you out of the problems that bring you down to a point where your thought of that solution is the bottle a needle a line or whatever it is and yeah that's today's daily reflections that's food for thought folks you have a very merry christmas if that's your thing if it's not your thing you have a happy holidays. Know that I'm with you folks and I will keep bringing these daily reflections as long as you need them and as long as you want them. I already got a couple of comments on some suggestions for videos in the upcoming near future. Feel free to drop a couple more so that way this channel builds better for you and perhaps we can get someone else on this channel to look at other than my awesome face. Life's a garden folks. Dig it. I'm going to see you in the next one. Have a very, 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 very Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.